that one of the cliches in golf is golf is a game of opposites. And most of us just tend to nod our head and go, well, the, yeah, that's true because golf is obviously so challenging and it is so difficult. However, in this video, I'm literally gonna talk about the two opposite movements that you need to get a really good downswing. And these are gonna be things that you kind of are very aware of, but you've probably maybe not put the two together. Behind this video is, well, a couple of students that I've recently worked with, we've kind of worked on this sort of feeling and drill, and the results have been, well, fantastic. So I wanted to share it with you guys equally. So we're gonna look at it from two different perspectives. The first one that we're gonna look at is the body move. Now, what should happen in the golf swing is if I sort of put my hands through my sort of lower stomach region and through my sort of sternum region, is in the backswing position, we should concentrate on sort of rotating, keeping our head relatively still, shifting our weight towards our trail side. So we should look something like so once we get to the top of the backswing. As we then start the downswing, we should sort of shift the weight towards the lead side, keep the head pretty still. So you can see the way that my hands are progressively moving towards the target like so. Now, the reason why understanding body rotation is so important is because your body rotation will influence your shoulders. So again, in the backswing, you'll now see the way my right shoulder kind of goes up and behind me. And from this perspective, it kind of goes up and behind me. This is obviously key for me understanding where I'm supposed to position my arms in the backswing. If I get this part of the swing wrong, then you'll end up having to make compensations with your arm position. Equally the same is to be said on the way through. As I keep my head still and I rotate like so, then equally again, what you can now see is my lead shoulder ends up in a particular location, which means that I can end up in a through swing in the correct sort of position. Now, the reason why that is so fundamental is we're gonna now concentrate very much on the left-handed journey. So if I take the hold of the golf club lead hand only, I'm gonna rotate back. So we're focusing now on my left shoulder. As I start the downswing, as I move my body, again, similar to what I demonstrated, you can see the way that my lead shoulder moves down and around, similar like so. Okay, so as my lead shoulder is moving down and around, I'm not consciously doing anything with my left arm. It has no choice. It is moving down in that sort of direction to wherever I move the shoulder, like so. Now, why is that important? Well, it's really important because the problem that most amateur golfers have is keeping the golf club on plane, which I'll explain now. I think the explanation here is that this is why you would probably struggle when you talk about introducing rotation in your downswing, because most golfers are sort of demonstrating a downswing position similar to what I'm doing here. Now, if you try and rotate with that, then it just compounds the problem. It makes the club come down even steeper. So what is actually happening, particularly when we think about the trail hand, is that we'll end up demonstrating a rotation okay and we'll take the club back where we'll fold the arm into a position something like so now as I start the downswing similar to what we did with the body rotation what should be happening is a couple of things one my upper arm should be moving to the side of my body and the relationship between my upper and lower arm should widen so if I do those two movements in isolation that's that move in isolation that's that move in isolation that's that move when they move together. So you can see the way that doing this type of motion gets the club moving on plane. Now the reason why this is so important is because when we now work on my arm moving out in this direction, as I do that composition of body rotation, this is how you end up sequencing a really good downswing. And this is how you're gonna put the blend together of having good rotational motion and good arm width. So that basically means if I do it from this perspective, if I do this arm drill again, see the way, oops, <laughs> if I do the arm drill again, see the way it's moving out towards the wall literally behind me. As I let the upper arm move, it's like my arm is quite literally moving towards the door. But as I then incorporate my body rotation, what it does is it brings the arm around with me and that's how you end up sequencing, shall we say, the perfect downswing. So you can practice these things. These are things that I work on with all of my students. This is why you can also just have nice, simple feelings like throwing the golf club. Throwing the golf club is always a nice one where you kind of go, well, just throw the club on the ground as you turn through and that'll kind of give you the right sort of idea of a golf swing. I wouldn't disagree with that. It's probably quite an easy way to approach the golf swing, but equally, if you're somebody who is really trying to sort of break it down and kind of make sure that you are getting into the best position you possibly can, I would probably spend a little bit of time practicing the downswing rotation first, making sure you're doing this because again, it moves the shoulder and the arm. So it brings the club this way. And then with this hand, you can kind of get the feeling of straightening. That'll bring you into a lowering position like so. So it's almost like the drill is, as I separate my hands now, my upper arm and my right arm is moving this way as I rotate. 
and it kind of brings me down into this position and that's what I'd probably suggest you practice and this is why that's the feeling of the throw that's the feeling of the turn and if you can blend the two together you're going to end up in a back in a downswing position that's going to look kind of like so which is basically what every golfer is really looking for so as ever hopefully this video really helps lots of you out I'll see you soon